Hi everyone, this is Trafalgar Valentine again. How's things going today? Today I want to continue my Dodge Charger series. So I've done five so far. So you can tell they're all slightly different. So I've got like a cool like uh, standard one here with roll bars at the back of the 8 engine. The double ducks with the wheels at the back and the hood scoop and stuff. And a very big rough rider with exhaust stacks. Spare wheel. This is a cool kind of racing version with slick tyres. And this strange one that I did with double uh, high wheels with two stabilizer wheels, exhaust stacks and strange engine modification. Okay, so I want to do a different one today. This one's going to have skis and caterpillar tracks. Do, 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 do. And drawing them is exactly the same as it has been for the other ones. Um, I try and keep it the same Dodge Charger grill in all of them. Uh, the bodywork and stuff I try and keep it the same sometimes I do miss out some sections of it but I like to still think that the Dodge Charger originally made all his machines and stuff so this is just going to be the first side now on the front here maybe I'll zoom in a bit just so you can see Ooh, hopefully that's a bit better sorry it's on an A3 sketch pad I can't move very far um, on the front here I want to do a Cool cylinder of coolant. What this will probably be is um, something that won't freeze. Because I want to do sort of like a snowmobile kind of Dodge Charger. So, but it's kind of like coolant. So, because it had regular water, it would just freeze. So, if I have a maybe vodka coolant or something. And on the front there. I know this is going to be a snowmobile, it's going to need lots of lights. Just at the top. A little bit of a chrome rim around the edge. It's good that I have a the uh, top one, which is the most standard out of all of them, or closest to standard out of all of them, just as a reference to what some parts to draw and some not to draw. This one's got another small bonnet scoop, a bit more chunky though. I'm just doing the skis here at the bottom. Sorry, the camera's moved a bit. Now I know this is going to be quite a bit of weight over a ton. So a strong triangle frame on the skis just to hold it and a stabilizer in the center. With a shock absorber. Maybe a bit of hydraulic steering as well.
Okay, I think I'll leave it as that today, guys. As you can see with this Dodge Charger, that's a bit different. I've added some cool tracks in the bottom, some cool skis in the bottom. So a cool, sporty, sleek look with a small coolant tank on the front. Yeah, they're going to turn out pretty awesome. Just adding some final touches here and there. It's just important to remember once you finish the drawing, maybe sometimes spend about 50 minutes afterwards. Just going over any little fine tutorial things. Even maybe leave it on the table and walk away and come back to it. Sometimes you'll see things in a different perspective. Just remember every picture that you draw, it's just a step closer. Every single picture you do, it's a practice for the next one. The more practice you do, the better you will be. You will see things differently, modify things. By things, I mean the composition, the light, where some things work, how to make some shapes appear more, some others disappear. They all come to you, don't worry. Do practice. And just remember, look outside. If you want to draw vehicles, just look at cars in the street, how the light reflects them, the colour change, the shadows. What if I draw from real life? Look at, again, how the sun and the shadows reflect off them. <laughs> okay, there we are. Thank you for watching. Bye.